Welcome to the Box User Series. In this video, you'll learn how to automate your processes with the all-new Box Relay. Box Relay streamlines your processes and facilitates content collaboration to improve your work life. With Box Relay, monitor and track workflow progress in real time, automate tasks, and accelerate business operations centered around content. Now, you can focus on what matters and leave the rest to Box Relay. Let's get started. Box Relay offers 24 pre-built workflow templates across six lines of business to help you get a jump start on building your own workflows. To get started, I'll just browse the pre-built workflows. I'll pick a template and begin. I click into a template to review the pre-built workflow. Each template will include triggers and outcomes that I'll be able to modify by clicking Use This Template. New to automating workflows? We'll explore triggers and outcomes in more detail a little bit later. I've already started some workflows, which I can view here. Some of my workflows are marked inactive. This means they haven't been put into motion yet. Active workflows, on the other hand, are live. Today, I need to make a new workflow to automate the creation of new client workspaces in my department folder structure. So, I'll click here. The first decision I need to make is what kind of trigger I want to start this workflow. A file event means the workflow is kicked off when something happens to an individual file. A folder event is a trigger that centers around activity on a folder. This could include the creation of a new folder or adjustments to an existing folder. File with metadata will start the workflow when an existing metadata template is applied to a file. A task event kicks off the workflow whenever a task is assigned. A manual start is started by any folder owner, co-owner, or editor on demand. And a file request kicks the workflow off whenever someone uploads content into a folder via the file request feature. Using file request as a trigger in Relay effectively enables you to apply one workflow repeatedly to every document submitted via your form without any further action on your part. For my new workflow, I want the creation of a new customer workspace to begin whenever a signed contract is uploaded to a signed contracts folder. So I'll select file event as my trigger and fill in the rest of the details accordingly. Now that I have my trigger, it's time to make my first outcome. My signed contracts will now be watermarked automatically moving forward. Time to decide on my next outcome, copying a templatized project folder into my team's customer workspace. Because the action will take place on a folder, I'll select folder action from my trigger options. Time to finish this workflow with my final outcome. I'll want the project manager to complete a checklist I've made for all net new customer engagements. While this is an action that takes place on a file, it's more oriented towards a task that needs to be completed. So I'll select assign a task from my trigger options. This is a general task, since all I need Bonica to do is complete the linked checklist. Outcomes in Box Relay workflows can only involve current collaborators. Luckily, the project manager Bonica is a collaborator in the folder already. I'll set a time frame for completion and link the related file. Time to switch this workflow to active. Now my workflow is ready to go. 
Once I activate a workflow, if I need to go back in and edit post activation, all current and future workflows will apply that edit if the modified outcomes have not been reached. Ready? Let's see our workflow in action. With Box Relay, my work life just got a lot simpler while still staying secure. Now that you've learned the basics for using Box Relay, it's time to dive into your own account and start exploring. Ready to learn more? Visit the rest of the user video series.